The United States seeks a more secure, more prosperous, more equitable world for all people, because we know our future is bound to yours. Let me repeat that again. We know our future is bound to yours. The generations that preceded us, preceded us, that starts with the United Nations. It starts right here in this room. In my address to this body last year, I announced the United States will support expanding the Security Council, increasing the number of permanent and non-permanent members. The United States has undertaken serious consultation with many member states. and will continue to do our part to push ref more reform efforts forward. Look Together with leaders around the world, the United States is working to strengthen rules and policies so AI technologies are safe before they're released to the public. To make sure we govern this technology, not the other way around, having it govern us. But working together, the world made some remarkable and undeniable. We seek to responsibly manage the competition between our countries so it does not tip into conflict. I've said we are for de-risking, not decoupling with China and prosperity for decades, but we also stand ready to work together with China on issues where progress hinges on our common efforts. Nowhere is that more critical than accelerating the climate crisis, than, than the accelerating climate crisis. Russia believes that the world will grow weary and allow it to brutalize Ukraine without consequence. But I ask you this, if we abandon the core principles of the United States to appease an aggressor, can any member state in this body feel confident that they are protected? If we allow Ukraine to be carved up, is the independence of any nation secure? I'd respectfully suggest the answer is no. We have to stand up to this naked aggression today and deter other would-be aggressors tomorrow. We cannot turn away from abuses, whether in Xinjiang, Tehran, Darfur, or anywhere else. We have to continue working to ensure that women and girls enjoy equal rights and equal participation in their societies, that indigenous groups, racial, ethnic, religious, minorities, people with disabilities do not have their potential stifled by systemic discrimination, that the LGBTQI plus people are not prosecuted or targeted with violence because of who they are. These rights are part of our shared humanity. They're absent when they're absent anywhere. Their loss is felt everywhere.